What's going on YouTube? Thanks for tuning back into the channel. Today we're going to talk about the Indian Scout Bobber. More specifically, I've seen a lot of these on the used market uh, in the last few, I would say, few months. So I wanted to talk about that, why we're seeing some of these in the used market. Does that mean that the Scout Bobber is a bad bike? Why are people choosing to sell or trade them in? I've seen a lot of them with very low miles and it just kind of made me wonder, you know, are people kind of over the Scout Bobber phase or what's going on? So I wanted to dive a little bit. You know, a lot of this information does come from the forums and Facebook groups. As a new owner myself, it made me kind of think about like, why are people selling these things? I think this is a fantastic bike. I think this is an incredible machine. I'm in love with it. Uh, I have owned it for a little less than a year now. So it got me kind of curious as to why people might be trading or selling their Scout Bobber. So I have about five reasons. And some of these reasons I think are applicable to uh, you know, motorcycling in general or motorcycles in general. It doesn't necessarily have anything to do with the Scout Bobber itself necessarily. But I do think there are some reasons specifically for the Scout Bobber that people are deciding to trade in or tra or sell their bike. We'll leave the most popular reasons, I think, um, uh, towards the end because that should be a juicy discussion. But let's get right into it. So yeah, like I said, I think it's natural to assume that when you see a lot of posts for the Scout Bobber uh, on for sale or you know people trading it in I think it's natural to assume that there might be something wrong with the bike I just want to put that out there I don't think that's the case I definitely don't think that's the case in with the Scout Bobber but I do think a part of the reason is because the Scout Bobber is such a uh, popular bike there's a lot of them sold this is kind of like the entryway into the Indian motorcycle line right you know similar to the Sportster there's just a lot of these on the market today and when anything like that happens I think you're going to get a lot of uh, people selling them as well. So, you know, I think it's mostly optics. So take that into consideration when you do see a lot of these on the market. So I just kind of wanted to put that out there as sort of the context for this discussion. So let's get into the first reason. Um, I think, like I mentioned, you know, people get into this bike as, you know, their first motorcycle or their first motorcycle into Indian, whatever the case may be. And I think just naturally when that happens, people realize that maybe motorcycling isn't for them. Uh, they thought that they might have a lot more time to ride the bike. I've seen a lot of posts like that where they'll say, hey, uh, you know, it pains me to say that I'm selling this bike, but, I, you know, I thought I would have a lot more time or I thought I would ride it a lot more, but it's sitting in my garage. And so they don't want to let that money depreciate. They don't want to let that piece of equipment depreciate over time. So they'd rather just sell it to somebody who's going to put it to good use. I think that's a reason that I've seen people selling the Scout Bobber. The second reason I think is applicable to a lot of us and in this economic climate, you know, I don't really blame them, but people fall on hard times. Maybe they had the money to pay for the bike, but some emergencies come up. I think I read a statistic that like 70% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. So one false move or, you know, one medical bill could really kind of throw you back. And so a lot of people, unfortunately, you know, they have to sell their motorcycle. They have to sell their toys in order to fund other things in their life, whether it's maybe a down payment on a new house, or maybe it's, like I said, medical bills, or maybe they have a trip coming up, or they need some, whatever that those reasons are, <clears throat> selling a motorcycle is a really good way, a, a very quick way to get a lot of money in fast, right? Again, that particular reason, I don't think it, you know, has anything to pertain to the Scout Bobber specifically, but I have seen that on the Facebook forums, or I have seen that on the Indian Facebook page. So just wanted to put that out there. This is another one that I think is not necessarily relevant towards Indian, but just motorcycling in general. But, you know, we all kind of get an itch for the new bike, right? So maybe you've bought the Indian Scott Bobber, you've had it for a couple of years. And, you know, it's not, you're not saying that the Indian Scott Bobber is a bad bike, but you just want a new bike. You want to try something different out. And maybe you just don't have the funds or you don't have the money to have two bikes. So a lot of times people will trade in their first bike or their current bike for the new bike. Again, that doesn't have anything to do with the Scout Bobber, but I have seen that quite a bit on the Facebook forums. The fourth reason, and I think this does kind of pertain to the Indian Scout Bobber, but like I mentioned, the Indian Scout Bobber is sort of the entry into Indian motorcycle line. It's the, for a lot of people, it's their first motorcycle because they want to grow with it, etc. But as they grow as a rider, you know, learn different skills and things of that nature, they go for longer trips, they realize that they have different needs. And so 
probably one of the most popular reasons I've seen people selling or trading up is to get another Indian motorcycle, a bigger one, whether it's the Chief or the Challenger or the Chieftain. People definitely realize that, hey, I love the Indian motorcycles. I love what the Scout Bobber did for me as a first bike, but now that I'm, you know, thinking about longer trips, longer road trips, I need or I need more space. That's one of the main reasons why I've seen people trade in their Scout Bobber or sell it all together for a different bike. You know, I think that's a valid reason. Um, I think that's a very valid reason. The Indian Scout Bobber, I would say, is kind of like an around town bike. Of course, with any motorcycle, you can kind of do whatever you need to. You can definitely take the Scout Bobber on long road trips, but it's not quite built for that purpose in mind, right? It's a, it's a bobber, it's for around town, it's for quick rips around town, really good in the city, things of that nature. Um, as you can see, I have a you know windshield for highway riding. So you do need to do a little bit of work to get that you know set up for long, long rides. But I think what ends up happening for a lot of people is that they end up just trading the bike in for a bigger bike, uh, mainly for distance, comfort, and also that two up riding capability. That is probably the biggest reason. Uh, with all of these reasons, I would say, you know, do your research on the Scout Bobber. It is what it is, right? It's a smaller bike. It's very fast. It's a lot of fun. It's excellent handling. Um, I have the Lowrider S for longer trips. I have that with, you know, saddlebags, a Memphis Shades Road Warrior fairing. So it's built for a little bit more long distance. This is, for me, just a really good looking bobber. You know, I have the solo seat. It's not very comfortable, but I just love the way it looks. I did. I am testing out the windshield just to see if it'll help out in the winter time. But yeah, it's you kind of have to know what you're getting into. And not saying that it, there's anything wrong with the Scout Bobber if people do want to trade in for a bigger bike, because yeah, it's it's a small bike. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, it has a purpose. The last reason I think um, I've seen, and this happens in the motorcycle scene, this happens in the car scene. You know, people love, you know, building out their bikes more so than the process of riding their bikes. So, yeah, I mean, once people are done kind of building out their bike, they want to move on to the next project. And so I completely understand that. You know, there's a few YouTube channels that I follow. Once they build out their bikes, you know, they're on to the next one. And that makes it interesting. You know, we learn a lot. You, They like to work with their hands. Nothing wrong with that. If that's what you want to do with the Scout Bobber, by all means, go for it. I think the Scout Bobber is a fantastic bike, and there's nothing wrong with the Scout Bobber. When you see a lot of these on for sale, uh, I think it just has to do with the fact that for a lot of people, this is kind of like the gateway into Indian motorcycles or motorcycling in general. So with that, you're going to see a lot of these on the used market. Those are good signs for you, though, if you are looking for a used, you know, gently used Scout Bobber. There's going to be a pretty good amount of them on the used market. I got this with like maybe four, three, four hundred miles um, for a really good deal. So take advantage of it when you can. But I think this is a fantastic bike. So far, not a whole lot has been done. I did change out the seat to the solo seat, which I think it looks really cool that way. I have the Enz Cuyo little saddlebag, keep, you know, extra pair of gloves and things like that in there. I brought over my Karyakin Mini Ride floorboards from my Lowrider S onto the Scout Bobber. Definitely makes um, riding a lot more comfortable. I have these like little cheap Amazon slip-ons here. Very minimal so far. I'm realizing how much more money the Scout Bobber costs in terms of like modifications. Um, I do want to get uh, some pipes and an air filter or air cleaner and a tune on this bike. That's going to set me back like a couple thousand. So trying to save up for that. All right, guys, but that's going to do it for me today. I hope you enjoy this video. Um, <clears throat> like I mentioned, there is nothing wrong with the Scout Bobber. It's a fantastic, fantastic platform. I'm definitely enjoying this bike. Like with anything, you may find out that you have different needs in a couple of years, you know? So take that into consideration when you're thinking about the Scout Bobber. But for a first bike or a second bike or third bike, it's still a killer choice. All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go for a little ride on this nice, beautiful, uh, sunny afternoon. But uh, thanks for tuning in, and until next time, I'll see you all later. Peace.